day of the NBA, Thursday night, and we're happy you could be here with us. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the side. Clearly a fan favorite, and they're giving him the highest praise possible on their ballots. And it's going to be an exciting showcase. We'll keep you updated with the results each day during the voting. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Andy Jacumbo, and it's Lucas in at the two guard. They've got Josh Giddy. Joe Ingles is out there with Exum. And it's Mills. And it's Landale in at the center. Here we are, Clark, looking at this one. Both teams love to shoot, and you can expect both of these squads to pull the trigger from deep. Well, you see this a lot in today's game. I mean, both of these teams like to let it fly from beyond the arc. And I think it's going to come down simply to which team can knock down more shots from outside. Now, here's Ingles. Passes it to Mills. Hey, I'll get yours. I'll get yours. On the wing, Ingles. Here's Giddy. On the mark with the 15-footer. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Well, they better be thinking about him. I mean, we know how dangerous he is. And Giannis gets it to go. No matter how aggressive the defense is, it is tough to stop the Greek freak. We're about one minute into the first. There's Lucas, and the layup is good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Mills. D right on him, and it's blocked. And they recover it. Here's Exum. Knocks down the three ball. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Slukas, Ingles covering. A shot by Adi Kumbo. Nobody around. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So, early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now, here's Giddy. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Here's Kalathis. He's usually able to provide some lift to his team, averaging six points a game. Inside. Here's Antetokounmpo. Hits the jump hook. Giannis has got seven points. His size and lift and touch make Giannis one of the best finishers in the paint. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Here's Simmons. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. He kicks to green. The pass to Daniels. Good, and it's green picking up the assist. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. They set the pick. The three for Mills. A three-pointer is right on target. Boy, pushing the action on the screen and roll. Mills gets the space he needs to finish. To miss. And here's Daniels. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Up top, Giddy. Oh, and the buzzer beaters good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept this cool and splashed it. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. They're up by 10. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere.
changes here in the second and looking at what we've seen so far guys from the visiting team what do you think it just they've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period yeah this is how you can keep a crowd quiet though i mean methodically score at the line and take some of that energy away from the fans they don't like to have the action stop and the opposing team scoring an offensive execution has been beyond great there 63 percent from the floor in this game Outside, Green jacks up a three, hits it from three-point range. Green's got five. Yeah, clearly a defensive lapse there. He is automatic from deep if you're going to leave him that wide open. Big-time mistake. Now oh, here's Young. And he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Slukas passes to Callie Zykes. Makes it off the glass. Callie Zykes has got his second basket of the night. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now, here's Exum. He has six. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys go. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. There's a good screen. Here's Kelly Zykus. Hands it from downtown. Kelly Zykus has got his third basket of the night right there. And they've got to talk to you, each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make them pay. Mills finds Ingles. Oh, and here's Green outside. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. 114 left in the second quarter. Lucas passes to Papianis. You know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. <laughs> Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A full team effort. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Now, here's Mills. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. Ingles, that one rolling around and rims out. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Dorsey, that's good. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. The wide open look here for Ingle. And right away, they match it with a three pointer of their own. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. Delivering the blowout. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. Break with the third quarter soon to follow. Right here on GK Sports.
scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one, he's been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Exum is out there with Joe Ingles. Then it's Josh Giddy. Then it's Mills. And it's Landale in at the five spot. That's the group starting the second half for Quinn Snyder. And it's good for two. Papianis has got eight. And rebuilding teams, Clark, are going to ride their young prospects. But talk about the importance of having those sage veterans on that roster and their guidance. Now, here's Anadokounmpo, 19 points in the game. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. He's got 15. So far, so good to begin this half. They're three for three. Perfect. Abianis kicks to Giannis. From 11 feet away, here's Kelly Dykus. And the three ball is good. Kelly Dykus has got six points in the quarter. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Oh, here's Giddy. He's covered closely. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Here's Kalathis, covered by Mills. Here's Papianis. Good. That's Kalathis who picks up the assist. Kalathis has got his eighth assist here tonight. Simmons got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And here's Green outside. Green's the three-pointer. Green's got 11. You know, Simmons is a platinum-level passer, and he has a really good understanding of when his teammates are open. And the Dekumbo inside. Simmons is there. On the Dekumbo, no good. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. 103 left in the third quarter of the game. And Simmons slams it in. Simmons taking off, launching himself right through the defense and rendering that D helpless. The visitors with the ball. Pass to Dorsey. Shot from the low post is good. He has six. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. 16 feet away. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Kicks to Dorsey. Over Daniels. It's on target from the high post. Dorsey's got his third bucket of the night. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Delivering the blowout. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter but stranger things have happened being for the game at 42 percent now here's giddy guarded close 
And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Outside, out of the combo. 16 feet away, and that one drops. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. Here we are looking around the NBA. Clark, which division do you think is the strongest overall? I think it's pretty clear, man. You look at that Pacific division out west, you're talking Clippers, Lakers, Warriors, Kings, Suns. Show me another division that can match that for entertainment value, quality of all, number of all-stars, and caliber of the teams. That's the one. Now, here's Thibel. Not a lot of room. Yep, that one goes in there. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Over to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Pulls up on the wing. It's hauled in by Theibel. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. There's the pick. Here's Exum. Traps in the train. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. In-house, otherwise it can be deflating for fans. Kept alive. On the wing, Giddy. Carries it from three-point range. Giddy's got ten points in just the second half. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Giddy's gone two of five from three-point land. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Let's go. Off target with the jump hook. Gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Feibel for three. It's good from long range. Feibel's got seven now in this quarter. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. But you got to think, you seeing teams put up 165, 170 points in a game. Could a player get 100 of those? I think it's possible. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. Being well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters now they're playing with urgency huh they could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach feeds it to Hatsutakumbo they can't stop the run with that one bounce pass Mills and Giddy gets it to go so many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. Mills can't hit. And Patrick Mills gets that whistle that time. That's his fifth foul. Coming on the floor for the away team. Papa Petra. 
Corinthians. Fifteen seconds left to play in the final quarter. Tipped away. The visiting club takes the win on the road. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Giannis, when your group is sharing the ball like this, how dangerous is this team? We can be really dangerous. You know, everybody can make shots. Everybody on the floor, they're basketball players. And we, the most important, we're having fun. Always more fun when you win, man. Congrats. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now.